We are here with Lloyd, who is signing for our upcoming Goodwin Champion set, our museum collection autographs. Looking great. We've got his family out here with us, and his uh, grandson Lyle, who looks strikingly similar to him. Hi. And uh, Lyle, tell us a little bit about uh, your grandpa's career. Well, he, he joined the Navy in 1944, and he went to boot camp in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, he made a career out of the Navy. This is a picture of him. Uh, 1944, he was 17 when he joined the Navy, he left Kansas and went to Florida, learned how to fly, and um, he started flying PBYs, was the first plane that he ever flew, it was a World War II plane, the one PBY Catalina, and uh, he was actually one of the search and rescue uh, squadron members of Flight 19 for Bermuda Triangle. I was watching this on the History Channel and my dad said, you know, ask Grandpa, he's one of the guys that was there, he was looking for those guys out there. And so. He, he went out in the water for 11.8 hours searching for these guys. There was a whole squadron of planes. Flight 19 on December 5th, 1945. All these guys disappeared, and my grandpa went looking for them. He's one of the guys looking at the water. And you have the flight logs here, huh? Uh, yeah, it has his flight logs. It talks about how many hours he went looking for them. It was December 1945. There was a 5th, so he went 11.8 hours on a PBM. And passengers, talks about his crew, and he, he gave a lot of hours that week. They went searching 11.8, 10.3, 11.6, 10.5, but they never wow. found anything. They talk about they this. They never found anything in the water out there. 260 planes and ships went out looking for them, looking for the 27 flyers. So they don't know what happened. They think maybe they're looking in the wrong area, or maybe just, they think maybe the planes are so heavy that once they hit the ground or at the water that they sunk and nobody found any debris out there but um it's you know crazy thing that happened they don't know what happened to those guys and um now let's talk about our other favorite picture here <laughs> oh yeah this guy yeah john paul pope john paul so he my grandpa was, was in the navy they all he was all his navy buddies they went to italy and went to rome and so there's my grandpa over there and he went and got blessed by the pope so that's why he's doing so well you know they got some divine Intervention, yeah. So that's pretty cool. That you know, going to the Navy, you got to take them all over the world. He went to Germany, uh, Greece, and uh, Rome, and uh, like my dad lived in Japan for a while, so it's made a career out of it and went all over the world. I actually have an uncle that was born in Japan, and um, it's pretty cool. He, and so my grandpa volunteers on the USS Midway every Monday, and uh, tells a story about being in the Navy. And um, he was actually on the Midway in 1952. He was off the coast of Florida on the USS Midway. And so he goes back every Monday to tell a story and talks about how, you know, how life was on the ship. And it was, it was a pretty cool career that he had. And I actually enlisted in the Navy to try to follow my grandpa's footsteps because I want to try to be like him. But That's awesome. He's got big shoes to fill over here. Yes, for sure. Something amazing. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, he, uh, and then Viet Vietnam, he was in a helicopter squadron called HC-7. It was a search and rescue squadron. And he was handpicked by the president to be in command of the squadron. And they're flying uh, H-2 helicopters and H-3s. And so they've, he was on the USS New Orleans. There's his patch on his vest there. He's on the USS New Orleans and in Da Nang Harbor in Vietnam. And he, uh, he rescued 55 men from being captured because they were a search and rescue squadron. They, wow. they flew in there and they rescued the Marines, brought them back to the ship. And uh, got a presidential unit citation for extraordinary heroism to HC7 from Richard Nixon from 1967 to 69. All the men that they rescued—that's a lot of people they affect. You know, it's incredible. Men, so, it was, it was you know, and we talk about you know upper deck. We're talking about basketball heroes and football heroes, but yeah. in reality, this is a real hero. So yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's really cool for us to do a training card like this. What was his reaction to it when he heard he was going to be on oh, a training car? He's excited about it. He, he's all for it. He wanted to come down. I said, you want to meet some people at the upper deck and tell your story? And he said, yeah. So he's he's definitely all for this. And that's why he goes to the Midway. He likes talking to people and telling those old stories that he had. Because, you know, it keeps your mind going when you think back to all those things yeah. that happened. And it's important to keep the history alive. Because he actually, he goes on the Midway and uh, works for this... He, he created the Navy Helicopter Historical Society, NHHS, and they worked with Boeing on the Midway here. 
to uh, open up a helicopter exhibit and it's called the history of the Navy helicopter and um, so there's my grandpa there and the president of the NHHS and the Admiral of the Midway, CEO of the Midway, Mac McLaughlin and the vice president of Boeing and they got Boeing to donate a million dollars to the Midway for a helicopter exhibit. Wow. So that the way they can keep you know the history of the helicopter alive it talks about the Wright brothers and the mm -hmm. Sikorsky and also talks about my grandpa's squadron in uh, Vietnam, how the helicopters played a major role in search and rescue. So, oh, this is awesome. This see, these oh, are yeah, some of the different the, aircraft that he's flown. Yeah, fifty-six different planes and aircraft. And on the top right corner there, it lists uh, he went fifty thousand feet, Mach one, speed of sound, and uh, he has fifty-two hundred hours. To, uh, 50, yeah, two hundred hours. Yeah. This is the card everyone's going to be looking for. <laughs> this is a great quote by Lloyd as well. Yeah, heroes are not born nor made, they're victims of circumstance. We're in there to perform beyond any calling. Awesome. Well, <laughs> Lyle, Lloyd, thank you guys so much for coming down. This is really a, an honor thank for you. us to have you guys here. We appreciate it. Thank you.